Kim Bond HS B50 NZ3 Red Oxide Takes a lot of down pressure. This is a three quarter inch nap roller. I've tried inch, inch and a quarter. I've settled on three quarter inch. This is the strongest smelling paint I've ever used. It'll wear your shoulders out. Barn's 38 foot deep. And what I'm painting here is, I think, like 60 feet from there on the other side. Try to get all this outside. Little trim here. Still see some rust, and there's where I painted. I think what I'm going to do when I get done is come up the next day or two with a little scraper or a screwdriver and just get what I can, peel this up, and hit it with a brush. I'll give you a better example of what I'm talking about. Any kind of flaky stuff. Now this Kim Bond Red Oxide Primer, it's, it's drying pretty hard. See, I don't know whether that's going to be worth it or not. That even looks like a pinhole right there. But I've checked underneath, there's, there's no daylight. It's just so hard to prepare this roof. It's had so many layers on it. It's had some of the cheap spray-on stuff. There's some rust. I think anywhere I see visible rust, I'll just, which that surprises me right there. But the, the roof is in such bad shape. I ground every square inch, but you just can't grind it to where it needs to be. It really, I mean, you'd have to sandblast it, clear down through the bare metal. Well, that's not going to happen. So where I see rust like this, I think I'll just slap on a bunch with a brush. 
and then call it good. Then come along with two top coats. If you're going to do it yourself, just be prepared. It's a project. It's a lot of work. You got to take your time because you're two stories up. I'm 22 foot in the air on the ridge. The black stuff, that's where I patched with Turbo Poly Seal. It's gotten pretty hard. I have no doubt that stuff will last 10 years. Just has a good feel to it when it's good and dry. And that's been on there for a few weeks. 